So that these would be the movements. You can look these up, just say compound exercises. You can put that anywhere and you'll see that that includes things like squats, deadlifts, you know, bench presses, dips, pull-ups, rows. And yes, of course, you want to train your whole body so that you have, you know, a symmetry of a function of strength and you want to offset any injuries and things of that sort for aesthetic reasons, perhaps. The idea here is if you want energy from exercise, you want focus, you need the deployment of the neurochemicals that we've been discussing, most notably epinephrine and norepinephrine. And through the identification of this motor network, as well as the effective and cognitive networks that converge on this area of the spinal cord and then send communication to the adrenal medulla, you can essentially control the levels of arousal that your body and brain produces. So in describing this, my hope is that you'll no longer think about exercise as just elevating your heart rate, or you no longer think about exercise just as moving your body, but rather that the movement of your body is creating specific neurochemical outcomes, both in the body and the brain that create the arousal that initiates the improvements in focus and attention that allow you to learn better and that contribute generally to brain health and longevity.